Okay, good morning, everybody. Uh, coffee and question time again. This is the day after Thanksgiving. I had a couple of questions about how did I install this TV type cable around my house and why did I do it? Well, I started having a lot of drop signals. I had, you know, interference and there were a lot of issues. And after I had somebody come out and look at it, the guy said, well, you know, when's the last time your cable's ever been upgraded on the house? Because the house is an older home. And I said, well, I haven't. And he goes, well, you know, you might take a look at that and see if that's your problem or not. Well, I didn't have any real way to test it. And the cable was probably original to the home. And the home was built in the 60s, I'm sure. So I sat there and I thought, well, let me call somebody. Somebody came out. They gave me an estimate of almost close to a grand to, you know, rerun. I think it was five different lines, you know, um, including a splitter, amplifier, stuff like that. And I was like, yeah, no. So I did some research and I came up with my own way of doing it. Now, I bought Quad Shield, um, and I'm going to throw up some pictures and we'll have a quick discussion and I'll answer the questions that I was asked on the installation of this because there's a few tips and tricks you should know if you're going to do this yourself. Let me put up some pictures and we'll go from there. Give me just a sec. Okay, so I have a picture above me of the Quadra Shield that I bought. Now, the reason why, like I said, is I was getting distortion and I was getting poor quality in terms of what, you know, I thought the TV should look like. And again, I didn't want to pay what I was being quoted. I had everything from 750 to 1000 to run, you know, these five runs. And I thought, well, that's not going to happen. So above me is the Quadra Shield that I actually bought. You can get it off of Amazon and, you know, I've got Prime, so, but it's there. I mean, if you choose to buy the same thing, there are other brands. Now I might do this in two videos because um, there's a lot of questions on the installation and what I did, but let's talk about the cable. This is RG6. It's made by Logico. It's Quadra Shield and it's cabling, okay, and it's far superior to your general cabling that they use, you know, on when they first do homes or when they first do installs. The answer to one question, yes, it's made in the USA. Now, like I, uh, like I was saying, the way I ran mine is when it comes down to the house, I ran it through a splitter, then I ran it through an amplifier, signal amplifier, because they say if you go over, like, let's say, 100, or, you know, using this cabling, you know, you can, the signal can become weak. And I thought, well, I went ahead and I bought that amplifier and it wasn't, you know, it's not a cheap one. You can do a web search on Amazon and find them. And I thought, I'll try it. If it makes a difference, fine, I'll leave it in line. And if it doesn't, I can always take it out. It's not a big deal. So I got cable and I got a splitter and I got the amplifier. Okay, so those are the, now you don't need the amplifier right off. You can do without that for the moment. We'll go over costs and stuff in a minute. But that's what I bought to start the project. Okay, now one of the questions I'm reading is, does it come, you know, the cable, does it come marked in feet? No, but, you know, the cable, I mean, it, that wasn't important to me. I mean, I just hooked it up and started, you know, stretching it and tacking it on until I got it to where it wanted to go. I cut off plenty of length, and then I cut it down as I needed it. It's labeled, but no, it's not marked in feet at all. But th that shouldn't be a deterrent for you. I mean, I would tell you to still, you know, consider getting it. Um, question is, is it a costly installation? No, it's not. Okay. He wanted to do five rooms for a thousand dollars. So think of it like this. I bought, I bought 500 feet of cable for 50 bucks. Now I got cable staples. Let's say they're about 15 bucks for a pack. You can find those on Amazon too. And I bought Klein tool kit. It comes with everything that you need in a kit. And I'll put a picture up in a minute. We'll go over that. So my total cost and everything Let's say I, you know, roughly made it $102.54 versus the thousand he wanted, you save $897.46 roughly. So even if my cost is a little off, it's an enormous cost savings to do it yourself. It's a simple project. Anybody can do it. Just some basic tools. I'm going to go over all that with you in a minute, but no, this is not a costly project and it does help things a hundred percent from where I was when I started with just that general cabling. So I tore all that out. I went with this, the R, uh, the RG6 quad shield. But, okay, so let's move forward with the questions. I'll throw up pictures, and I'll show you how I did all this. Um, how is it to run it? Does it crimp and bend? No, it doesn't crimp or bend at all. I mean, this is really good, well-made cabling. It's thick, and, you know, there are, some, there are some questions about how to cut it and stuff. I'll go over that. 
and exactly, you know, what's it made out of the core? Well, the core is steel with copper plating, okay, but I didn't notice any uh, signal difference at all once I had this installed from like just pure copper. So I still think it's an outstanding, you know, cable and um, I have it installed now and it works perfect. I don't have any more drop signals. I have no distortion. My picture quality is actually better. Um, I'm not going to tell you it's hugely better, but there was a noticeable difference in, you know, in all five rooms. What kind of connectors does it use? I'm going to put up some more pictures. It uses compression F connectors and I'll show you what the package looks like. And I'll discuss with you exactly what you need to buy if you choose to go this route and do it yourself. Like I said, it's an easy project. So let me take this picture down. Let's put up some more and we'll talk about the installation and some tips that I can tell you that'll make it really easy. Now I put up some new pictures, but there was one last question on the cabling. Is it really that good of a deal? Well, if you're getting 500 feet of it for 50 bucks, that's 10 cents a foot. So yeah, it's a hell of a deal. I not only did my house, I gave it away afterwards what was left over and there was plenty for somebody else to do their home too. So yeah, it's a good deal. All right, pictures are up. I went with Klein Tools here. Um, Klein, I think, makes a great tool. I mean, I think they make a lot of great tools, actually. Actually, just a quick note, uh, Klein Tools was started in 1857 by Matthias Klein. He wanted to make a pair of pliers, and he eventually kept playing around, and he made a pair that he thought was a good pair, and everybody wanted them in all different industries where the, when word got around, so that's how his company was basically started. Anyway, Klein Tools, outstanding tool. This is the kit that I bought. It comes with a tester, crimper, it comes with a cutter, and you get 10 of those F connectors in there. Okay, so that may be enough for you to do your entire project. If it's not, you can still buy more connectors on Amazon. Just do a search, but make sure you get these kind of connectors. And yeah, it. another question is, does it work on the quad shield? Yeah, it works on the quad shield, and it gives you compression fittings rather than that ch the cheapskate, you know, crimping style or whatever. This is actually, when you're done, this is a professionally done cable. I mean, it compresses it, it tightens it on the cable, I mean, and it does basically all the work for you. So you're not playing around stripping wires, trying to peel off shields and do all this other stuff. The tool itself does all of the work for you. That's one tip. I would definitely buy this kit. There's no problem. I would buy it again before I tried doing this, you know, just, you know, the old style way, let's say, of doing it, which is really half ass. This gives you a very professionally looking done cable, just like a cable installer would do. Is it easy to use? Yeah, it's really easy to use. There's even some YouTube videos out there. It's very simple to use. When you push the cable in, it, it shows you where to stop. Then, you know, you press the button and spin it around and it cuts it perfectly every time. So yeah, there's plenty of videos out there on that and I'll go over some other things lightly with you, but there's also a continuity checker in there. So you get a few little nice to have things. I mean, when you're doing this install, I can tell you right now, using the correct tools makes this a fun project, not a painstaking one because you can move quickly. So those are my thoughts on that. Any other questions on this? Yeah, I won't make it a long video by demonstrating it. There's plenty of videos out there on the demonstration. But the, well, the one tip is you want to make sure you push the compression fitting all the way in before you use that compression tool. In other words, so the white's against the connector and then you crimp down on it. And now once you use this tool, these compression fittings on that cable, you can tug it, pull it, do whatever you want. These are, it's a professionally installed cable at that point with these connection fittings on there. All right, let me take these down, throw up a couple of other quick pictures, and we'll wrap this up. But this, like I said, is a very easy project. Hold on one sec. Okay, this is just a bunch of uh, small questions that were answered. I mean, if you take a look on the top left, there we go. I separated a little bit. If you take a look on the top left, Klein Tools makes additional compression connectors, the F ones. These F connectors are the ones you want for that quadra shield. They're right here. It's not bad price. It's less than 10 bucks. You can buy additional connectors. So if you need more, they sell them in the 10 packs or they sell them greater. You can see right here from the little advertisement. So pick what you need. Now, the picture next to it on the right shows you the Klein tool with the cable in it. And what you do is that black button on top, you just depress it and spin it round and it takes that shielding cable off perfectly. Watch the video so you know what you're doing. There's lots of complaints. Oh, the cutter doesn't work right. The cutter cuts through the cable. It's not splicing it correctly. It will 
cut and splice this thing perfectly fine if you use it correctly. And uh, there's the cable, one size cable goes in one way, like from the right, a different size cable can go in from the left, they're marked. Follow the instructions, okay? A lot of the complaints I read were from people that didn't really follow the instructions on using this. This is a handy tool. You can strip them 100% perfectly every single time and move along with this project real easily. The one on the right to that above my head, that's showing it to you with the cable coming out dead on and the guy's thumbs in it and he just spins it around like I said. Now, bottom left, these are more of those cable staples. The ones that I had and used are both, I use single and double, meaning the ones previous that we looked at, you can put just a single cable and tack it up to your fascia board or whatever. These are double, okay? Now, in my case, some of my runs before they went into different rooms, I mean the cables, I would run two at a time. This was real handy for securing them both side by side as I went you know, down the line on that fascia board. Of course, everybody's going to tell you the best way to install this cabling is to try to take it out of the element immediately, like run it through an attic or something like that. I had parts of my house where I couldn't do that. There wasn't an attic space. So, you know, without some major ordeal, I just ran them along that fascia board. Bottom, uh, on the bottom over here on to the right now, that is that compression tool. Okay, this is the slickest little thing. You put that F connector in there, put the cable down on, put the F connector down on that cable and you push it down on there nice and tight and you slide that whole thing into this tool and you hold it there and then you push down like you would a pair of pliers. And this thing will make this cable absolutely perfect when you release it. This is a great tool. Okay, so let's recap. This is a fast, easy project. The, uh, the cable, the tooling is not that much. You can use the tooling again. You'll have enough cable left over to give to a friend or somebody if they want to do their house. I give this project, I mean, a two thumbs up. It was easy to do. It improved the quality. Like I said, a signal strength, everything else throughout the house, and it's not expensive. Uh, you got any other questions or comments, drop them below. But like I said, this was, and, and these are very basic tools that you need. You, if you bought this kit and you had a hammer and just a pair of nippers or cutters or something, you could probably do the entire project. It doesn't really require a lot of tools. So, all right, folks, thank you very much. I'm going to cut this video now. If you've got any questions, comments, you want me to go into more detail about something, you know, let me know. Otherwise, click subscribe. I'll see you on the next video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.